This is breaking news. A private audition with GOP donors trumps minority VP prospects downplay race. Palm Beach, Florida, Senator Tim Scott said the GOP doesn't need a 2024 campaign message tailored to black voters, while Senator Marco Rubio delivered a similar message about Hispanic voters and immigration to a group of GOP donors gathered at a closed-door event in South Florida on Friday. Both Scott, who is black, and Rubio, who is Hispanic, are top minority leaders in the Republican Party who are on presumptive GOP presidential nominee Donald Trump's short list of possible running mates. They are viewed as leading vice presidential contenders, in part because of their potential appeal to demographics the GOP has struggled with. If picked by Trump, either senator would make history paired this November against Vice President Kamala Harris, herself the first woman and Asian American to hold the office. Yet both Rubio and Scott downplayed the role that race would play in the presidential campaign to the group of GOP donors Friday, according to three people who were in the private event and spoke with USA Today. The senator's remarks show how emphasizing race or gender can be a fraught issue within a party that has long skewed older, whiter, and male, and often talks about prioritizing merit over identity. The Republican National Committee hosted the spring retreat for major donors over the weekend at the Four Seasons Oceanside Luxury Hotel in Palm Beach, which is located a few miles north of Trump's Mar-a-Lago private club and personal residence. The event drew some of the party's top elected leaders, many of whom are believed to be on Trump's list of potential running mates. The weekend was an audition of sorts for the vice presidential contenders. In addition to Scott and Rubio, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, North Dakota Gov Doug Burgum, Florida Rep. Byron Donalds, New York Rep. Elise Stefanik and South Dakota Gov. Christy Noem spoke to donors and mingled with them throughout the weekend. All are considered potential Trump running mates. Some Republicans, in and out of Trump's orbit, say they believe it would be a good political move for the former president to pick a woman, or among the men with diverse backgrounds, as a way to balance out the Republican ticket as it challenges President Joe Biden and Harris. Polls show Trump has made inroads with black and Hispanic voters, and choosing a running mate who might appeal to these demographics could help cement those gains. A female candidate could help Trump's message to voters on abortion, an issue that has bedeviled his campaign. I've always been an advocate of a woman as a VP because I think you have some strong women. Steve Bannon, who served as chief strategist in Trump's White House, said recently on Donald Trump Jr.'s show Triggered. But many in the party are leery of picking a candidate solely for equality like race or gender, and both Scott and Rubio seem to tread carefully around the issue over the weekend, according to the three people at the donor event who spoke with USA Today. The senators spoke at a welcome dinner Friday that included three of their fellow Republican colleagues from the U.S. Capitol, Sens, Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee, Mike Lee of Utah, and Rick Scott of Florida. RNC Chairman Michael Wetley asked the group questions, including this inquiry posed directly to Tim Scott. We're doing much better with black and Hispanic voters. What do you recommend that we do to expand on this trend? Said Richard Porter, a GOP donor, attorney, and Republican National Committeeman from Illinois. Tim's response was, we need to recognize that we don't need a black message or a Hispanic message. We need to have an American message and then take that message to people all across the country. Porter added. That message resonated with Porter, a member of the RNC since 2014. That's who Tim is. He hasn't succeeded by being the black candidate. He succeeded by being an American candidate, a guy that advocates for everyone who tries to lift themselves up by their own bootstraps, Porter said. Rubio delivered a similar message, but in a different way, Porter said. In speaking about illegal immigration and how Hispanics view the issue, Rubio said Democrats don't understand the range of views 
confuse some non Hispanic voters. They misread Hispanics voters. They do not support open borders, Porter said of Rubio's comments. In fact, open border immigration angers many Hispanics voters because they are people building families, and this issue impacts their families, their schools, their communities, and their job opportunities. Rubio invoked his father, a Cuban immigrant. He said, for example, my dad didn't look in the mirror and see a Hispanic man. He saw a father, a man with responsibilities to his family, at a job in a hotel like this working events like this one, Porter said of Rubio's comments.